Hey, what's up guys? It's the Great Gamer today, back with another video finally. And today I'm going to be telling you if the iPad 6th gen is still worth buying almost six years later in almost 2024. So the performance is and the specs are. So it has the A10 chip with two gigabytes of RAM, which is essentially the same as the iPhone 7. And the performance, performance wise, this thing is getting pretty slow and I hope it doesn't get iPadOS 18 because it's pretty choppy on 17. Like you could see some delay, stutter, and yeah, yeah, obviously delaying and stuttering. Um, but is it worth buying? Well, as a secondary, maybe. As a main iPad, absolutely not. This iPad is like almost six years old. And if you could see this, it it is a nice iPad, but you can use this as a secondary, but I would recommend 128 gigs and it runs up to iPad OS 17 and it's not really that fast anymore. It only can handle light games for the most part. So yeah, the iPad 6th gen is a really good iPad. However, um, it's becoming outdated really quick right now. So, so with 2024 approaching, this iPad will probably not get iPadOS 18. I'll be extremely surprised if it does. And what is this good for? So it's good for like somebody who needs an iPad for school or work. That's all fine. But, but, um, this, um, the iPad 6th gen is a pretty capable iPad, but it's getting, I would recommend keeping this on iPadOS 16 because it is significantly slower on iPadOS 17. So do keep that in mind. And so talking about... Some of the camera features are the camera's 8 megapixels. It's essentially just an iPhone 6 camera with a 1.2 megapixel front camera. And with live photos, of course, because it's from 2018. But the chipset inside of it is from 2016. So it's like kind of starting to feel like it's uh, like 7 years old. So yeah, with that in mind, it's starting to feel like it's seven years old because it has the 2016 iPhone 7 chipset in it, still with only two gigs of RAM. And do not buy the 32 gig one. Buy at least 128, and this is not worth buying anymore. I would recommend to upgrade to at least an iPad 8th gen, probably like a newer iPad, like the iPad Air 4 or iPad Air 5 or something like an iPad 9th gen brand new from Apple's website or even a refurbished um, 9th gen is a good option. Even the iPad Pro 2017 is faster than this iPad. So yeah. I will show you some performance on this in just a minute. So here is some of the performance. As you can see, it's glitching out a little bit. This is Minecraft, by the way. So. Just gonna allow that. Um, as you can see, it still runs Minecraft okay-ish. Good, I guess. But as you can see, it's definitely stuttering, 
with the A10 Bionic chipset in it with only 2 gigabytes of RAM. And as you can see, I'm just going to create a new world and see how long it takes. So, my recommendation for maining an iPad 6 gen is get one on like iPadOS 14 and jailbreak it. Because it, you can get like battery health and stuff if you jailbreak this thing. And speed up animations possibly. But the iPad 6 gen is genuinely a good iPad. For Minecraft, however, as you can see, the performance is a little sluggish, and I really hope I don't get a copyright claim or anything for this music. So I'm actually just gonna, if I could find, I'm just gonna turn down, I'm just gonna turn the volume off. And as you can see, that took forever. Like, wow. This is freaking slow. And as you can see, it still performs good. I accept some stutter. So, yeah. Oh, and you can see it, it stutters and it, it's good for like a school student, but I, and work, but other than that, I would not recommend this. So yeah, and maybe a kid's first iPad, but yeah that's pretty much it for today's video hopefully you enjoyed this video the great gamer is going to sign off now bye hope hope you guys stay awesome don't forget to stay tuned for more content like this